So hello guys, welcome to today's video. In this video, I'll be sharing with you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can create high quality and copyrighted free reaction videos using your smartphone. And you don't need multiple phones as a lot of people are telling you. All you simply need is one phone and I'm going to show you how you can use that one to actually record your video and at the same time add the clip you are actually reacting to all at the same time. So a lot of, I've created several videos on reaction videos, but a lot of people keep asking me how can they react to videos such as football highlights, music videos or premiering movies without getting copyrighted on their channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you everything you need to know on how you can create high quality reaction videos and also bypass any form of copyrighted materials that you are using. So without taking much of your time, hello guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to Paris Tech. On this channel, I mainly focus on how you and I can make money through content creation and other make money ideas. So if you find this channel helpful and you need more great videos like this, then consider smashing on that subscribe button and also don't forget to tell me what you feel down in the comment section. So that already said, let's get straight to today's video. Let me share with you everything you need to know on how you can create high quality reaction videos. So hello guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create reaction videos without getting copyrighted. So I've created so many different, different videos on how you can actually create reaction videos where people often complain to me that they are getting copyrighted, this and that. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can bypass uh, any form of copyright whilst reacting to video. And for this particular video, I'll be using a football highlight, which is the most copyrighted material out there is football highlight. But that is what I'm going to use in this video to show you how you can actually bypass copyright. So now what you simply have to do is I come over to your... Um, device like this and then come over to play store and once you come over to play store the first thing you need to do is actually search for x screen recorder so you can come and download this x screen recorder you can see that's what i'm currently using right now this is the software i'm going to use for the screen recording and then after getting the x screen recorder the next thing you need is actually CapCut. so you are going to use CapCut for editing your reaction videos as well so now you can also come and download CapCut, and they have CapCut here so now after downloading these two softwares now the next thing you need to do is come over to your x recorder now x recorder often comes with ads so you just have to cope with them like that so after getting your x recorder the next thing you need to do is come over to settings when you come over to settings, you see where it says audio settings. I will advise you get a microphone, mostly if your phone recording isn't really that good. Get a microphone. Personally, you can see that I'm currently using a microphone to actually do my recording right now. And then after that, come over to video settings and then set your videos to 1080p auto auto. So once you set to 1080p, the system automatically pick auto for the rest. You see your orientation, keep it as auto so that whenever you rotate the phone, it will rotate alongside it. And then over here, this is where you set your, where you want to save your videos to. So for me, my phone right now, I'm not using any memory card so it will save to my internal storage where I have uh, almost 200 gig available. And then video segmentation, create a new video file automatically when recording reach two gig. So when you record any file up to two gig, which you hardly do, the system automatically creates um, a backup option for you. So here is one thing you need to know to avoid your app stopping automatically when recording. Make sure that you exclude the X recorder from your this thing, from your battery saver. Always exclude it from here. Don't add it to any of your restricted or battery saving systems. So to make sure that it doesn't face any sort of problem. So now after getting all those settings ready, now it's time for for you to actually start with your recording. So for that. All you simply have to do is that, for me, I'm already recording, so nothing will appear here. So if I wasn't recording before, you see this place here? Let me get my drawing too. So this plus icon here is where I'm actually going to click to start recording. Uh, apart from this, apart of this, you are going to get a floating button on your screen as well. So let me just remove this drawing system. So I'm just going to remove that one. I'm just going to drag this out of the screen right now. Let me just remove it. Yes. So now after getting all of this ready, the next thing is that you need to show your face while you are screen recording. So to show your face while screen recording, you need to click on this camera icon here. So now let me go and show you where you can actually enable that. Come over to the settings. Now come down. Over here, I'm going to see camera. So now click on camera. You see, immediately I tap on the camera over here, it started showing my face. So you can see my face on the screen right now. So while reacting to video, you definitely want to show your face as well because it's really important to put that engagement in your videos. So now after showing your face, like the next thing you actually need to do is that now you need to go and get the material you want to react to. So for that, let's come over to YouTube. 
So I'm, I'm just trying to minimize it. So I'm just going to minimize it and keep it here. So now let's come over to YouTube. And I'm going to put over here and then come over here. So now here is a video on Cristiano Ronaldo free kick. So a lot of you have been saying that you, you often get copyrighted whilst reacting to football videos. And for this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can actually bypass that whilst reacting to football videos as well. So now the first thing you need to do is come over to YouTube and download the particular video you want to react to. So my advice is that download this video onto your phone. The reason why you need to download it onto your phone is that you need to actually bypass any sort of ad that will display because whilst you are reacting, if you are reacting on YouTube directly, eventually ads will come in. Mostly if you are someone who is always connected to the internet like I am, like I do, even though you download it onto your YouTube system, ad to appear. So to avoid any sort of ad appearing and distracting you, I would advise you download the video. So to download the YouTube video, simply come over here and then copy the link. Once you copy the video link, now come over to Google and then go to this website known as um, Save from net so if you're in the united states this website will not work for you so it doesn't if you are in the united states it won't actually work so you can go look for any other thing simply come over to youtube and then search uh, google and search for youtube video downloader so over here now you can just put it here and then you click here then it will give you the option to actually download the video so for me i'm not going to download it because i'm not going to create a reaction video on it so what i'm just going to go back so now the first thing is that download the video to avoid any sort of ad displaying whilst you are reacting. So after that, the next you need to put the video in full screen mode. So, so most of you by default, your phone will not uh, set it to full screen feel like this. Like you can see my one that is set to full screen display. So in case your phone doesn't support the full screen display, what you can actually do is that you can manually, let me just bring it. So initially this is how it will appear in most of your phones. It won't be on full screen display. So now to make sure that you have it on full screen display, simply double put your two fingers on your screen like this and drag it. So in case it doesn't appear for you like this, then what you can do is that maybe you can change your phone or just cope with it like that because some phones doesn't accept you zooming to feel like this. So after getting it like this, now you need to start reacting to it. But before you start reacting, where your face is, one thing I advise you to do is that, like drag your face, make it big to at least cover uh, a portion of the phone. Uh -huh, to cover at least half a portion like this but then you are not distracting what you want to react to so after that i'm just going to play it like this and then you can see now you can drag it over so you don't stay at one place so for example let's watch it again let me take it back and then let me minimize this one a bit to make sure that it doesn't uh distract the free kick so you can keep it somewhere here like this now that he wants to play the free kick oh sorry for that this is why you need to download your video. So now that he wants to play the free kick, simply keep your face over here and then you can start your reaction and then just hit on the play. So you can see, once you, you do it like this, you are not going to get copyrighted since your face is on the screen. And then the next thing you need to do to make sure that you also avoid copyright is that don't let the audio display, uh, the commentary from the pitch actually plays in. The only thing you can allow play in is that after he scores the free kick, the fans chanting, you can let down come in or you can even download an external video or fans chant to actually replace it. One thing I always advise is that don't use the commentary from the football video itself. Most people get copyrighted because of the commentaries coming from the football videos. So for this one, I can play this one as long as I want and then it won't actually uh, interfere with me. So now for those of you who are not into uh, creating football highlights and then you want to react to movies and other stuff, now here's your own tips. If you are reacting to a movie, don't play the full movie. What you can simply do is that only pick out the key moments in the movie and then the key moments, you just like do it very short, 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 those key moments and then you can just let those key moments play. After they play for a short time, then you just have to pause it and then start talking. But then make sure that your face is always on the screen to distract the main view of the screen. Like to make sure that you are not into it fully. Just using it as an example, just with like using that particular one as an example, then you won't get copyrighted. So for movies, you can play the people talking, but then don't play it for too long. And then for those of you who are doing music videos, like I don't have any tips for music videos. Uh, music videos are one thing that I've seen that no matter how you try, as much as you do, music videos copyright will, also, will actually come to it because you can't react to music videos without playing the music itself. And in most cases, even a little uh, snippet of a song, soundtrack in your video can even get you copyrighted. So for that, I advise you, you leave anything that has to do with playing music. But for movies, football highlights, this is the best way to do it. Keep your face on the screen like this and then make sure that you are not blocking where they are actually playing from. As I already shown, you can use this uh, 
this uh, back and front arrow here to actually control it so if i should tap on it like and drag it together you can see i can minimize my face i can zoom it in i can also keep it small at the top over here just try to make sure that you are distracting the main video itself to make sure that it doesn't look really that uh, smooth on and then once you are playing it after it scores the first free kick what you can actually do is that pause it a little bit just pause it and then you can start reacting after reacting for some few seconds then you can replay it again and then drag your face to other part of the screen to make sure that you are not interacting with it so that i said hope you find this video helpful and this the simple tips in which you can actually use to create reaction videos so now the next thing you need to do after creating your reaction videos is that in most cases our advice is to get a microphone as i said because without a microphone your audio might be really poor even this one that I'm recording right now, I'm using a microphone, but I'm still going to work on the audio later on to make sure that it's good. So now I'm going to show you a little secret in which you can use to work on your audio. So in case you do the, you did a screen recording without having um, a screen, uh, a microphone or something, then to get rid of the background noise that will come into your audio, I'm going to show you how you can actually do that with CapCut. For that, let me just go back. So I'm just going to go back to my home screen right now and I'll show you how you can do that. So now to get rid of the background noise that will also actually come with your video in most cases, simply come over to this software known as CapCut. So now let me just minimize my face and keep it over here. Come over to CapCut. So when you come over to CapCut, what you simply have to do is that click on um, new project here. So now once you come over to new project, now you need to select a particular video in which you want to get rid of the background noise. So for me in particular, um, I'm going to pick one of my videos. So I'm just going to show you how you can get rid of the background noise actually. So I'm going to pick one of my videos that I already have in my gallery. I'm going to click on add. So I'm just going to do this right now. So now to get rid of background noise from your videos on CapCut, simply tap on the video itself. Tap on the video now. Once you tap on it, come down here, keep coming. And then you see where it says reduce noise. You see where it says reduce noise. Here you can simply enable this and then click on this OK. This OK then it will start removing the background noise for you. So there is still a more further way in which you can also enhance your audio. If you realize that after removing the background noise, your audio is not really good. There is still other ways in which you can do it. For that, I'm going to show you a YouTube video that I actually created. So I'm going to search for my channel, Perez Tech. So I'm going to show you a video that can actually help you do better editing. So to make sure that you get the best out of your videos, you can actually watch my videos that are over here. You can see this video, CapCut video editing on mobile phone. So if you're using your smartphone to edit, you can come and watch this video. This video will show you every single thing you need to know about editing high quality videos on CapCut, getting rid of your background noise and everything. And then I also have another one. If you are on your laptop, you can also come and watch on Master CapCut in 35 minutes. You can also come and watch this one because CapCut is the most easiest video editor. So with that already said, hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And this is a simple secret in which you can use to create reaction videos without getting copyrighted so i like i always advise you go with the screen recording method because this one here will actually uh keep you on this uh, screen at the same time playing whatever thing you are playing to avoid copyright but in the case whereby you are not really you don't want to react to something that is being recorded for example you are reacting you are just talking about an image in that way there's no way you're going to get copyrighted so for example if i wanted to talk about this free kick without playing the video itself what i can simply do is i can use the peep option on CapCut to actually help me do that so since most of you will be reacting to live videos that's why i decided to use this alternative to show you on how you can use a screen recorder and then your particular video to do it so my advice is that download the video onto your gallery and then play the video inside your gallery to avoid any sort of of um uh ad display like for example that one that i was doing on youtube since i'm connected to the internet you can see my wi-fi is connected there's an ad might pop up at any given time so to avoid that that's why i always advise you download the video because when you download the video you are not going to get any sort of interruption again so with that already said hope you find this video helpful don't forget to smash that subscribe button like this video and tell me what you feel down in the comment section so that i just said have a nice day bye